Excuse me. I want. I just want to ask. Did you try these? Yeah. What? These hemp thing. Yeah. What'd you think? Cool. Oh, they worked. Okay. How'd they taste? Bitter. Huh. Well, let's ask Lila. Which she... Lila? Do you? What's this? What is this? Oh. Oh, are these your treats? Mm -hmm. They're her treats. You ate plus. <laughs> Fuck. Uh huh. <laughs> that yeah, no, that checks out. <laughs> You would have been fucking executed for witchcraft in 1692 because those eyes are fucking enchanting. Did you guys know that some people actually have a garbage truck come to their house to pick up their garbage? If your garbage truck looks something like this, give this video a like. Do a kickflip, motherfucker. I do an uncommon girl sports check. Hey, um, if I'm coming across your for you page, it's because I want to tell you that you're awesome and that you deserve all good things. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. Love and light all the time. joined TikTok and it's taught me a lot of things but the most important thing it has taught me is that I'm still a fucking loser because I don't know how to do all these dances that everyone keeps doing you know what I mean and I cannot teach myself that I'm not a choreographer what do you guys do spend all day learning that and what is this what is this thing when do you use that when did that become a thing I did not even know about this until like a month ago. Is it supposed to be cute, awkward, funny, weird? Can you use it at any time? This is how I know I'm never gonna be part of the cool group because I'm always behind on trends. So last night me and the husband was watching Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and I turned over and I looked at him. I said, hey babe, do you wanna have sex? And he says, no. And I said, well, is that your final answer? And he says, yes. I said, well, then I like to phone a friend. And that's where the fight started. Mm -hmm. So, I've seen a lot of women complaining about guys playing Xbox. Fuck! Man, I get it, right? Attention. I've been with my man for four years, but I like to think that I figured that one out. Like, how to deal with it, you know? Now, this is, uh, selective. It's an acquired taste. It takes some boldness. It takes the will of a lion. <laughs>
a little bit of curiosity and some stone cold open mindedness. Gotta look over here, not over here, because the camera's right here. 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 And the best part is you don't have to get secretly or fake naked for TikTok. You don't have to do that. So are you ready for the secret? Okay, come on. So to start it off, we uh, we got two TVs in the living room. And the kicker is you turn yours on when he turns his on. Then you link up on Xbox Live and you can talk shit together. It's like a date in another dimension. And you can do it naked. Billy. Interesting thing. I have a pigeon Come sitting here. on my head right now. Billy. My turn. Um. Billy. Well, Holly went for a run. And this pigeon followed her home. And he, he just, he's on Holly's head now. Um, but, but this pigeon followed her home. And is just, oh, now he's back on my head. He is about the best friend in the entire world, Todd. It's incredibly, like, you have to see this. I'm not kidding you, dude. Like, this, it will go anywhere with us. I don't know, dude. I, I literally don't know. Oh I've never gosh. seen anything like it. I FaceTimed my mom, and my mom watched him jump from my head to Holly's head. Like, just back and forth. Billy. Now he's back on oh Holly's head. He's back on Holly's head right now. <laughs> He's probably covered in disease. <laughs> nope, now he's back on my head. <laughs>